47 years old, but with a cognitive age of three. I mean, it must have been a challenge for the family bringing Spencer up yeah. and, you know, dealing with his you know, behaviour and what have the challenges been? Huge challenge. I think the first important thing to say is, is that Spencer, Spencer and mum and families, we're not alone in this. There are mm. thousands of families all around the UK, all around the world, that are dealing every day with these challenges, unsung heroes, if you like. Um, the autism is just a label, and I think autism has a huge spectrum, from high functioning to low functioning. Uh, I think it's all about challenges. So Spencer has severe challenges with autistic traits. Autistic trait. He's got a bit of anxiety thrown in there. So it's not about putting a label on it, it's about understanding what their individual needs and challenges are. And I would just say the big thing is, is that if you come across someone like Spencer who doesn't, doesn't look quite right, just offer them a smile. You probably won't get a smile back. You might even get a scowl. Yeah. But the fact that you've offered them a smile, and uh, it's cost nothing, it's hurt no one, and you might actually make their day from it. So that's one of the key pillars, is reducing the stigma from society. And mum is indicative of so many mums and dads out there that are doing this daily struggle and don't get recognition for it. And they don't want recognition for it. But if someone just pulled them aside and say, hey, you know what? I get it, I know what you're going through. Mm. The response on social media, just from seeing the two minute teaser alone, has, has, has really sort of given me that feedback. So I think, you know, mum looked after him for every day and every night of her life. And then uh, towards the end, you know, she still looked after him and then she went to bed and she passed away. And, and, it, and it's just, you know, she, it was her son. Mm. It was her responsibility and, and therefore she wanted to fight to keep him out of an institution and give him the medicine that he really needed, mm -hmm. which was the great outdoors. And that is another pillar of the film, is, is that she refused any form of synthetic substance to calm him. And she said, I know what his medicine is. It's getting out on the mountains. And, and that obviously, for herself, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an you know, as she got older, was harder, but she just refused to And you to see the tremendous way. drive that he has when he's on those mountains. It's like he, <laughs> he comes alive there and he won't yeah. stop. And he's like route marching, really. There might be a way to cure all forms of autism or not? Is that ever a possibility? Is that a... I, I'm sort of, I've, I've sort of been on, it's a great question, I've sort of been on the reactive side. So mm -hmm. I've sort of been with a brother that, that having to deal with the here and now, my mother had to deal with the here and now, my sister, who has taken over the mantle, Charlotte, from my mother, has just been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. That's what we're dealing with. Um, my gut would say no. My gut would say that this is, this is Mother Nature and this is Mother Nature's way of just keeping control over, <clears throat> over the human race. But um, I, I don't know. I know lots of work is being done. Uh, mm. I know that there are lots of tests out there. I know that some, some people's lives are being made better. But to sort of say there might be an outright solution to this, uh, I, you know, it, it's... it's well, it's a very powerful question. film, Mikey. Yeah. Um, I urge people to watch it. Not, you know, if you've got autistic members of your family, your friends, whatever, it'll be particularly fascinating. But if you haven't, actually, it's a really interesting insight yeah. into how you manage to, to live and exist and work and, and play with your brother. Um, and, I, you know, it's really riveting to watch, actually, in many ways. Can I just say two things before we yeah. go? Uh, first one is, is that um, the, 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 there's a care team out there that looks after Spencer, and there's, there's carers all over the UK. Um, I've mentioned families, but... I also just want to bring light onto carers as well, because the, the two carers that, in essence, saved Spencer when, when Mum passed away and we were struggling to try and get him a full 24-hour package, it wouldn't have been possible without those two. He would have ended up in somewhere which was more institutionalised. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's Steve Trugarth and that's a guy called Scotty. And I just want to pay a little bit of tribute to them. Sure. And also, uh, the lovely Terry O'Sullivan, who is your chief planner. Mm -hmm. And every time I've been on this show talking about security stuff, she's always asked me about the film and when we can come on and talk about right. it. So, um, so when's it on? That's a really good question, isn't it? Uh, the question. Uh, <laughs> BBC, BBC One Wales tonight, 10.35 p.m. Uh, if you're not in the Wales region, you can, might be able to get it through the Skybox. If you can't, it's going to go straight onto iPlayer about an hour afterwards, uh, and it'll be available for 30 days on iPlayer. My, my autistic, brother autistic me. big brother and me, uh, the story of Spencer and Mikey, and also, as you say, your lovely mum and Charlotte, your sister, who has basically dedicated her life as well to looking after him. And her lovely husband, Simon. I know. Incredible. Yeah. Great family. Thank you. Mikey, thanks very much indeed.